Got some really bad news today. Uh, my friend Justin Alexander is missing somewhere in the Himalayas. And I mean, let me tell you a little bit about Justin just so you understand the man that we're talking about. And this is a man who lives life on his own terms. He's always been an adventurer, a wanderer. He left home at 16. Uh, he survived jungles and mountaintops and he's climbed bridges and skyscrapers and inspired many, many people to wanderlust and but he's also got a big heart. He's you know traveled around the world, helped a lot of different people with different disasters in Nepal and other places. Um, spent a lot of time living in a lot of places. He traveled far and wide. And he's a friend, he's a brother, I'm, I'm happy he's in my life. He's the kind of person that shows you that if you're willing to take action, your life can look any way you want it to. He's been gone by some accounts between six and eight weeks in the Himalayas. I know that if anybody could come back from this, uh, he could. He certainly has the skills and the training, I just don't know if he has the supplies to, to survive and the temperatures are dropping fast. And it's a logistical nightmare and most people don't speak more than a few words of English up there so it's really difficult to get information. You know, they say the more people you know and the longer you live, the more people you lose. I don't... It's not that I'm sad, you know. Most people never live one week like Justin lived his whole life. But it's still never easy. I and mean, I still don't want to say goodbye. I have a feeling the story's not over. And Justin, I love you. They have uh, some good leads to go on. They have GPS coordinates of where Justin was last seen. They have uh, pictures of some hikers that would have passed Justin on the trail, some local shepherds, three of them, that we're tracking down. There's been a rescue effort. Uh, about 15 to 20 people are up there now looking for him. We realized after a month of not being seen, the last confirmed sighting was on September 3rd. Today's October 7th, October 8th, that um, you know, we're most likely looking at a recovery mission, not a rescue mission at this stage, but uh, we do want to get to the bottom of what happened and uh, make sure that, you know, we do everything we can. So I am headed to Australia tomorrow. There's some really great people working on this. I'm not worried at all that everything will be done to find Justin. Even though I might be out of the loop, he's still in my prayers. And that's it. I'm going to Australia. Hash browns, what you want, what you want to do? Bacon, eggies, a little bit of ghee happening. Love it. Head up to LA to catch my flight to Sydney. Going to LAX, yes sir. We got a long drive ahead of you. <laughs> Going to Virgin America, or Virgin Australia. Actually. I'm think of it. Yeah. Yes sir. Going on an airplane. Going on an airplane.